I am the executive director of a Smart Citizenship Foundation, uh, which is based in Latin America with offices in Santiago and in Rio de Janeiro and works in 17 countries across the continent. We want to use algorithms to um, innovate in the civic tech space and basically what we want is to do the opposite of the, what the industry is doing. We want to see whether we can use algorithm, algorithms to include others politically. We want to see if we can build and make affirmative actions within the algorithms so to get those who had been excluded uh, the most uh, get, gain more visibility. For instance, how can we get uh, those women participating in politics being more visible in the platforms of candidates? How can we get those who are not voting because they feel underrepresented and excluded uh, from the political discourse represented and participating? And we want to, like, basically how to shift, how, how can we use these new technologies in our favor? And also, uh, we are understanding how important is the transparency of algorithms for democracy. So we want to make a big push for at least during the electoral processes. Either uh, platforms should deactivate whatever prefer preference they give to specific content because it makes a if they if the it gives unfair advantage to some candidates or uh, stop uh, like banning basically these uh, obscure platforms to take part in the political in the political campaign. We have a problem. Uh, the problem that we have is uh, that the platform now has uh, a lot of power in their hands to shift an election without the electoral authorities doing nothing about it. So it is a direct threat to our democratic system and I think that they have to be either regulator or ban, at least during the political campaign period, the electoral period. Yeah.